Hey guys, Brickwing here with the brand new 2016 Lego Batcave. And of course, you may notice this is not like a modern Batcave by any means. This is based off of the 1960s classic TV series. Uh, so I think it looks awesome. We even get the Batmobile with it. Lots of amazing characters. Uh, it is set number 76052. It has 2,526 pieces. And this set cost about $270, which normally I would say was a little bit high, but I think this set is so awesome. I have to say, I think it's worth it. Uh, so guys, as you're watching this review, be sure to let me know what your favorite part of this set is because I think there is a lot to love on this set. So let's go ahead and check it out. So first off, let's go ahead and just start from the top of the Batcave. And I know this is nothing interesting. This is just uh, the outside roof here, but I did want you to see it. And then kind of almost cutting off the little antenna up here. Uh, we also have a little kitty cat, Miss Kitty that comes with it, little orange cat, which is really cool. Um, always love to have animals in sets. Uh, but of course, the interesting part is the inside of the bat cave which really this top part is not actually the cave but rather kind of like the entrance one of the entrances to the bat cave here um, and actually Shakespeare's head was already turned over there uh, that's to reveal the little button there uh, to open up the entrance uh, but one thing that is in here that I think is absolutely awesome and I want to check out first is our brand new Alfred minifigure. Uh, this is the first time one that we've gotten in many years. Only the second one ever, which is very cool. So let's go ahead and check out Alfred. And here is our Alfred Pennyworth minifigure, which I think looks really cool. It is very, very different uh, from the other Alfred minifigure that we have, but I'll show you guys that later on. I will do a comparison for you guys on that but this is the alfred that we get in the 1960s bat cave uh which i think is awesome and i'm really glad that you know everyone has a chance to get alfred again and he does have a double-sided face which is always awesome of course and back to basically what is Bruce Wayne's office. We have a lot of cool stuff in here, including the pictures of his parents up on the wall, Martha and Thomas Wayne. Um, I love that they're kind of paying tribute to them. Um, it would be really cool if maybe um, as a special figure release or something, uh, maybe in a special DC minifigure series, uh, they released those as figures. I personally think it would be awesome. But anyway, that's beside the point. Um, on his desk here, and I'm gonna take this off because you may not be able to see it very well. Um, this is a sticker piece, but I still think it's really cool. Um, it says GCPD case file, and it's got Mr. Freeze on there, which I think is cool. I think you can see it pretty well. Uh, but I think that's kind of a cool little thing to put on the desk. Um, also kind of funny that they didn't include Mr. Freeze with the set. Uh, that's actually going to be a separate poly bag, which I thought was going to come out the same time as the Batcave, but I guess not for the VIP release. It, it, it must be actually on March 1st. But anyway, um, we also have a little globe sitting here, and we do have uh, not really Robin, per se. <laughs> this is Dick Grayson, who becomes Robin, so we can go ahead and take a look at him. And this is Dick Grayson who is one of the Robins, uh, which I think is really cool that we actually get a Dick Grayson minifigure. Um, this is the first time that we've gotten him, and of course we've had several different Robins, and not all of them are supposed to be uh, the Dick Grayson Robin, but at least we do have one of them. I hope that we get uh, the others in their regular form later on too, but we do have him here, and he does have a double-sided face, as you can see, um, like almost all of the minifigures in this set. We also have the red bat phone in the office here, which I think is absolutely fantastic, uh, really, really cool. And it, I think it's kind of funny, um, Bruce Wayne or Batman has these trophies sitting back here, and if you'll look, 
these aren't just regular bricks. Um, they're actually the little containers, which there is nothing inside. However, it is very like Batman to have secret compartments everywhere. It even kind of looks like a secret compartment in the wall behind there, um, behind where this sits. Uh, and it's the same with this one also. Uh, it is another container one, so it's kind of a secret compartment. So like I said, it's very, very like Batman to do. Um, also, let me take this off of the little Shakespeare. Um, it's actually a, a hair piece that we get with this, which is pretty cool. And what is, it has to be the best thing about at least this part of the set um, is, and you may not have even noticed, this little piece sticking out on the side here. If you pull this, the bookcase back here slides over and reveals the little holes that they can slide down. Um, now, that's not the actual ones that they slide down. That's just kind of uh, there to represent the ones they slide down that are below it. But it is cool that it's got the names on there, Dick and Bruce, uh, which is awesome. And this can come completely out. You can see how the bookcase is. Um, and of course, those are just those little smooth tiles uh, stood up on their sides. Uh, but I do think it's really cool that they designed it like that. And you can just slide it back in and hide that back away now. So here is the part directly below the Wayne Manor section. Um, and you can see some bats hanging out in here. Uh, and because this is part of the bat cave, of course we're going to have some bats hanging around in different places. And you can also see uh, inside here we do have the poles that I was talking about, them actually uh, coming down, uh, kind of sliding down the poles like they do in the show, which is really pretty cool. And uh, we have little, kind of like little levers that they can actually kind of sit on uh, to keep them up at the top, and then you can just uh, flip the lever and they'll come uh, sliding down the pole. So um, I do have Robin set up uh, in there. I know the top part's kind of dark, so you might not be able to see it very well, but you will when he slides down in three, two, one, go! <laughs> okay, that was not nearly as dramatic as it should have been, but anyway, you get the point. Um, we do have the little swirl uh, there that they can come down. It didn't swirl all that well, but that's beside the point. You do have one of these little levers on each side, so you can have Batman on one side and Robin on the other, which of course is awesome. And speaking of Robin, since we do have him there, let's go ahead and check out our 1960s Boy Wonder. And here is a close-up on our 1960s Robin minifigure which I think Lego did a really good job on. Um, I really like the design on this. I love that they, they even gave him a little short cape, which is awesome. And let me go ahead and let you uh, see the back printing here. And I'll go ahead and keep spinning it around so we can see the rest of it. Uh, the front has, you know, most of the detail is on the front and I just, like I said, it, they did a great job on it. And this minifigure does have a double-sided face. I think I've already mentioned once before that almost every figure in the set has a double-sided face, and I'll show you the one that doesn't later on. And if you come back over here uh, to this section, um, and you look around the outside, we do have a villain climbing up the outside here. Um, I like the design of the windows, before we get to that, um, I really like the design of the windows here. Uh, I think it's kind of cool. It's very detailed, um, especially just for you know the outside of the building. It's, uh, it's not supposed to be anything fancy, but it does look pretty cool in my opinion. And um, <laughs> this is our 1960s Riddler climbing up the wall here. And if anybody's wondering how they do uh, the climbing pictures, uh, you can actually just wrap the string around their wrist. You can kind of see it on him uh, there, so he can just hang next to it, although they tend to just hang sideways. Um, but anyway, uh, it is cool the way it's designed, and of course this grappling hook can be removed, uh, and it can hang on the top of the building up there, which is, of course, awesome. 
So here is the Riddler that we get in this set. And to me, this, I mean, the Riddler doesn't seem all that different than uh, the other versions of Riddler that we've gotten. It's almost just kind of like a simplified look for Riddler, which is completely okay with me. Not to say it's a bad figure by any means, I think it's a great minifigure, and it comes with dynamite, which is always fun, and it does have a double-sided face here. And next up we have just a little portion of Batman's creepy little laboratory, which apparently Joker has broken into, uh, but we'll go ahead and take a look at some of Batman's lab equipment first. Um, Personally, I love the 1960s Batman. It is an amazing show to watch. It is so entertaining. Um, mostly because Batman's hilarious. Uh, but anyway, uh, so here is just some of it. Uh, we have kind of where he's looks like he's inspecting what's inside this liquid with his magnifying glass here already attached and some other bottles here on there, um, beakers and things. And uh, one thing in this set that I noticed is for all of the jars, they have printed little lids like this, which is kind of cool. Uh, you can see one on the table here, and there's several more on the shelves over here. You can see three on the top and three on the bottom, and some really nice little pieces here too. Uh, but all kinds of different um, things that Batman is keeping in his lab. Uh, no telling what all chemicals or what he might have in all of these jars and things uh, but uh, Batman is prepared for anything <laughs> but anyway uh, let's go ahead and take a look at our Joker next and here is our 1960s Joker which I think is awesome it's one of the things that I was most looking forward to getting in this set um, this is the Cesar Romero version of the Joker and if you'll notice on his face when we get back around to it, uh, this is the only Joker you're going to see that actually has a mustache because Cesar Romero was not willing to, his, to shave his for the part, uh, which I think is hilarious. Uh, it makes it very unique and I love how colorful the outfit is. And it does have an absolutely hilarious double-sided face. And the second face that he's got is one that he made in the show a lot. Uh, which I love it. It's just awesome. And next up we have Catwoman. Um, apparently she's taking a lie detector test because, well, why should Batman trust her, really? Uh, she is pretty sneaky, of course, uh, but I do love the pieces that we get here. Uh, we have, you know, a little tape recording station, basically, and in the bottom here, we even have, if I can open this up, we even have three extra tapes sitting in here. And those are printed pieces, by the way, if, if anyone's wondering. And over here we have the little lie detector test that has the uh, true and false meter on there, which I think is hilarious. And those are stickers, uh, unlike the other side, uh, but I love that. I, I laughed as soon as I saw that sticker. I thought it was hilarious. And then we just have uh, this. There's nothing in these drawers, but it's just something that you could store some things in. Or maybe Batman is hiding some things. Maybe this is somewhere else for him to save tapes of interviews or uh, whatever it is that Batman may end up doing in the Batcave. Uh, but I do love our new 1960s Catwoman so this is our Catwoman minifigure, and I think the outfit is spot on. It is perfect. Um, now, I don't know which Catwoman this is uh, necessarily supposed to be, because I think there were two, maybe three different uh, actresses that played Catwoman in this show. Uh, but And I can't think of the name of the one that played it for the longest time. But anyway... I think it looks fantastic. I love having this version of Catwoman. And she does have a double-sided face, uh, which is always a plus side. And next up we have basically the entire middle section of the Batcave set. Uh, but 
this is pretty much the back computer. So it is a really, really cool portion and there is a lot of detail, a lot, a lot of things to show you in this. Uh, but you may notice first, we do have Bruce Wayne sitting down here operating the back computer. And here is our new old <laughs> Bruce Wayne minifigure, uh, which I think they did a great job on the detailing on the torso. It really makes it look just like uh, the old Bruce Wayne or Adam West uh, version of Bruce Wayne that is. Um, and of course the back of suits is always pretty plain, but on the front here it really stands out as, you know, or at least to me it stands out as Bruce Wayne from the 60s and I love it. And he does have a double sided face here. And here is, like I said, the back computer. And there's a lot of stuff around the outside here, um, like these little units on the side here, like this. And we have some different sticker pieces on here, uh, different screens he's got for the computer. Uh, there's that one. And let me just kind of take these off one at a time to show you uh, kind of what all we have here. And then we have two more units over here with more stickers on these. Um, we have all kinds of stuff going on in this back cave uh, for the back computer here. And let me just kind of put those back on real quick. And then on the other side, we also have some more. Well, actually, I kind of tore that off. There's a little container part right there. And there's the top portion of it. And I guess I'll do the same thing over here. There's the top portion of the next one, which uh, is built just like that one. It's just kind of got a container thing below it and I might have to take both of those off in order to more easily get to the next section which of course just came apart again and there's the next little section another little container part there and yet another there is a lot going on here and it looks like more of maybe uh, the recording uh, section that we sh we had earlier with Catwoman. And I kind of put these back in there and just set those aside. Got another little computer section up here, which is kind of like, I guess, the main console, basically. Got to keep off Atomic Pile sign there. And then this main portion of the computer, or the middle section here, um, these panels just kind of alternate and they go all the way around it uh, but I think the back computer is really cool get lots of really fun pieces and I know that there are a ton of stickers in this set however it's such a big set I don't have a problem with the stickers I think they add a lot of fun to this set uh, but you can let me know your thoughts about it in the comments below while we check out more of this set and here is just one of the vehicles that you get in this set. Uh, this one is the Bat Cycle, which even has a little side cart there uh, that Robin can ride in. And here we have finally Batman himself for the Adam West 1960s Batman, which looks awesome. And uh, let's go ahead and take him off for a second so we can kind of look at the cycle a little bit more. There is kind of the top view of it, and it even has a spare tire on the back, which I thought was really cool. Uh, but let's go ahead and check out Batman next. And here is our 1960s version of Batman. This is, of course, based off of Adam West's Batman, and I think they did a great job on it. The detailing is really nice, and on the back, um, underneath his cape, of course, uh, he does have a belt printed on the back. Um, the rest is pretty plain. But I think the 1960s version of Batman turned out awesome. And the detailing on the mask is great. I know they basically just had to add the lines on it um, and a little bit of black right around the eyes. But I still think they did a great job on it. And he does have a double-sided face, so he has two different mouth uh, expressions on this one, so that's pretty awesome too. 
And here is the final section of the Batcave, or at least the top portion of it. Uh, this features the landing pad for the Batcopter. And speaking of the Batcopter, obviously, you can't miss it sitting right there. Um, it is bright red and looks awesome in my opinion. Uh, we do have the awesome bat wings on each side. It even has flick fire missiles right here uh, on both sides there. And it does have a few stickers like these on the sides here and on the back, but this glass piece is printed, which I think is awesome. It looks really cool. It's kind of just part of the bat symbol. Kind of makes it look like the head of Batman. Uh, and of course you can fit a minifigure inside there to control it. Uh, but I just think that they did a fantastic job on the Batcopter here. And let's go ahead and check out the landing pad. This was the most difficult part to do for stickers uh, because that is two giant stickers you have to line up uh, just perfectly, which is, well, it can be pretty difficult, but it looks awesome when you get it finished. Um, and it looks like we have a, another minifigure landing now. So let's go ahead and check out our penguin minifigure. And here is our final minifigure for this set. This is the penguin, and he does have some nice printing. And this is the only minifigure in this entire set that does not have a double-sided face. And obviously that's because of his top hat. It, it would look odd if you turned around and there was a, another face there. Kind of be a Dr. Jekyll, Mr. Hyde kind of thing. Um, but anyway, he does come with his umbrella that you can see there. And this is, I think, one of the few times that he does not come with any little miniature penguins. Uh, but that's totally okay. It's still a really great minifigure. And here is the final section of the actual cave. Uh, this is directly below uh, the landing pad that we were just looking at. Uh, and basically, it's Batman's garage, um, pretty much. Um, obviously, we have the 1960s Batmobile here, and it looks awesome. So let's go ahead and check that out. And finally, this is our 1960s Batmobile, which I think looks awesome. It doesn't have, you know, the bat fins on the back like we're really used to, but this is the classic Batmobile, and it looks awesome in my opinion. And let's go ahead and start from the back right here, uh, because if you lift this part up, lift that section, then it opens it, or re releases it, rather, to open the trunk up. And you can actually store things like batarangs in the back here, which is very cool. I love it when they actually come with storage compartments like that. And we continue back around to the side. Um, the wheels, I love, and I know this is just such a small detail, but these little pieces on the wheel, those are printed pieces. They printed it for all the wheels, which is awesome. <laughs> now, that one is a sticker, and right up here is a sticker. Let's go ahead and zoom in a little. Uh, so now you can see the uh, middle section of the Batmobile a lot better, like that sticker right there. And here's the inside, which I think looks awesome. I love that it even has the bat phone in here. Um, not often do you get a Batmobile that actually has the bat phone in it. So I think that is a really, really nice touch. I love these clear pieces for the windshields. It looks awesome. And obviously you can fit both Batman and Robin in the car, as you can see. And that I think is awesome. I love it when they design the vehicles that are actually practical for the figures they're supposed to work for. Um, also, in the front here, we do have two stud shooters right here, and you guys know how the stud shooters work. You just push down right here, and the studs fire off like that. And I'm sure I've got some extras around here somewhere, but I can always find those later. I just wanted you guys to be able to see the bat cave, the bat cave and the Batmobile. Uh, in all of its wonderful glory, uh, so you can let me know uh, what you let me know what you guys think about this Batmobile um, and what, if anything, you would change about it. 
So now that you guys have seen the entire 1960s Lego Batcave, let me know your thoughts about it in the comments below. And be sure to let me know what your favorite part or favorite minifigure was in this set or what you would change. And be sure to give us a like for Batman. And don't forget to tune in next time. Same bat time, same bat channel. Want to be included in one of my videos? Comment below, below and you and might you see might one see of your, your comments comment featured here, here in a future, in a future video. video. Click here to check out our new Deadpool stop motion and don't forget to subscribe to our animation channel.